Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. Fire is less like destruction and more like transformation. It's tearing things apart on a chemical level, but it's also building new molecules, new chemicals. It's easy to think of just ash and soot as the products of a flame, but water itself is the result of burning hydrogen. Water, H2O, hydrogen combined with oxygen, is in fact the liquid ash of hydrogen gas. The process of metal rusting is really a slow, cold burn, if you think about it. Fire to scientists is defined as a self-sustaining chain reaction of chemical oxidation that brings with it the evolution of heat and light. It occurs whenever a fuel of some kind comes into contact with an oxidizing substance, usually oxygen, in the presence of sufficient heat. This is how a fire is born. Throughout human history, fire has been the subject of fear, fascination, reverence, and even worship. It's one of the four classical elements along with water, air, and earth. To the Greek philosopher Heraclitus, who first proposed the ideas of the union of opposites and universal flux, fire was the most important material in the world. Fire is the rapid combination of fuel material with oxygen in an energy-releasing process called combustion. This creates the heat, light, and various chemical reaction products. At a certain point in the combustion reaction, called the ignition point, flames are generated. At this point, the fire is creating more heat than it requires to keep the oxidative chemical reaction going. The flame is the part of the fire we can see. It's built primarily of carbon dioxide, steam, and incompletely burned powder or soot. The highest point of the flame contains the water vapor. The yellow portion in the middle is the soot. Down at the lowest, hottest point is the unburned fuel. Depending on the substances being burned, the color of the flame and the fire's intensity can be very different. There are cool flames created from special fuels that burn at low temperatures like 100 degrees Celsius, just hot enough to boil water. Magnesium combines with oxygen to create a spectacular and overwhelming bright white flame at 2200 degrees Celsius or 4000 degrees Fahrenheit. The world record for hottest flame was created from burning dicyanoacetylene, a compound of carbon and nitrogen. It creates a bright blue-white flame at a temperature of almost 5,000 degrees Celsius, or 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The terms oxidizer and oxidizing agents suggest that oxygen is the only thing that can do the job. However, other things besides oxygen are also able to fill this role. For instance, Chlorine trifluoride is able to ignite and burn sand. One of the things I find most fascinating about fire is that the flickering teardrop shape that we all know is something unique to Earth. If you take fire into space where there's no gravity, it goes through changes. In the year 2000, NASA confirmed that gravity plays an important role in the properties of flames. In microgravity or zero-gravity environments, such as in orbit, natural convection stops and the typical yellow teardrop flame becomes bright white, blue, and spherical. Fire is perhaps the most ancient technology, but it's still something human beings haven't yet completely mastered. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium.